I first met Noah when we were seven years old. We got to go to the folk fest, we spent time at church and going out to eat, and all of that time our families kind of quickly grew and became really good friends, and we realized we had a lot in common. Third grade, we were told that we were going back to Florida, and it just devastated me. Um, I remember looking and telling mom, like, I thought I was going to live here the rest of my life. We still wrote letters and we still stayed in constant contact with their family. Fast forward a little bit and jump into sixth grade. Dad said that we were moving back. And so at the start of sixth grade, we moved back to Arkansas and just kind of picked everything up right where we had left it. As we started high school, we still played sports. We still spent a lot of time together. We ran with the same friend group. We were best friends. We did a lot of things together. People would always kind of ask me, you know, are you going to date Killian? Are you going to date Killian? I'd look at them and tell them, like, no, that's weird. She's my best friend. I can't do that. No, 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 no. We're just friends. We're just friends. And I kept thinking, why do they want us to date? We're going to ruin our friendship. Junior year, she was in uh, homecoming. And so she was dressed up in a beautiful red dress. But whenever I spotted her, uh, she just looked stunning and gorgeous. It was breathtaking. But I remember rounding that corner and I had butterflies just seeing him and smiling at him. I was super excited to see him and that day was one I'll never forget. I think that's when our officially our relationship started to change. Later that week, I think it was, or the next week, Kelly and I had me and one of my buddies over, PK, and we were just hanging out, having a good time, things like that. And It got kind of later and PK ended up leaving and it was just me and Kelly and I and we were just sitting there on the couch. It was in that moment that I knew like I could do the rest of my life with Kellyanna. I was super content and extremely satisfied just to be with her. I ended up asking her in a very awkward way um, to be my girlfriend. And so the, the scariest thing was that I was afraid that I was gonna lose her, knew that she was my best friend and that was the last thing I wanted to do was do something to endanger our friendship, but yet in the same breath I knew that something had to change because she was so special. And that night is when we started to officially be boyfriend and girlfriend, which is still crazy to think about. I went to College of the Ozarks and she went to UCA. That was a big hard transition going from seeing your best friend every day for your whole life almost to going to seeing each other maybe every other weekend. And then junior year continued with our relationship and it just felt like every year in college it just kept getting stronger and stronger until one summer I proposed to her. So we went to dinner and we got our pictures taken and we took our pictures at my grandparents barn and when we got to the barn as soon as we rounded the corner inside of it I saw the most beautiful porch swing and lights and a photo book sitting there in the barn and that was the moment that Noah asked me to be his wife. I get to say I do to the most beautiful girl in the world and then I get to be her best friend, not only her best friend or her boyfriend or fiance, uh, but I get to be her husband uh, for the rest of my life and she gets to be my wife for the rest of my life. I'm super excited about this and I'm so thankful that God gave me Noah and I can't believe the day is here, the day that we're going to get to be married, the day I get to marry my best friend. As you live your lives, you're going to be, uh, you should be the loving father as Jesus loved the church. And you should be the woman who speaks her mind. By the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel and according to the laws of the state of Arkansas, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Noah Michael Thompson. <laughs>